let's look at nested if statements. Now the if function is one of the most popular functions in Excel and as you know it allows you to make logical comparisons between a value and what you expect. So an if statement can have two results. The first result is if your comparison is true the second is if your comparison is false. So when we're doing a straightforward if statement, like the one we have here, I'm in sheet one, we have two conditions, either good or not good. If it's a one, it's good, otherwise it's not good. So if you recall, this is how we do a basic if, if statement, equals if, open bracket, if, I'm gonna click on B2, if in that cell, if it's equal, to the number one, if the number one is sitting in cell B2, then if that is true, so with a comma, if that is true, what are we going to show? If that is true, we're going to use the words good, the word, sorry, good, with speech marks. Otherwise, and I do another comma and it jumps, if it's not true, what are you going to put in there if it's false? We're going to type in the text, again with speech marks, not good. Close the speech marks, close the bracket, press enter, copy down, and it has returned either good or not good. So let's look at the second example. In this example, there's actually three conditions. It's good or average or poor. So what we're going to do now is what is known as a nested if statement. It's essentially linking if statements together. And we start in exactly the same way. Equals if, open the bracket, it's looking for the logical test. What are we putting in here? Well, what we're doing in this example is if whatever is in B2, if that equals 1, and with a comma, then if that is true, what do we want? We want the word good to show. And if I do another comma, it's prompting me to put in the value if it's false. But we have to put in the if statement again. So if I type in if and I open the bracket again, and one thing to notice, by the way, do you notice that the opening bracket is a different colour? The first bracket is black. You're doing another opening bracket, which is red. And we're going to do the same thing again. It's taking me back to the logical test. So what we're saying is if b2 if it's equal to 2 then I want the word average to appear and then when I do my comma now I can put in the value if false if it's not 1 or it's not 2 then it must be 3 and if it's a 3 we want the word poor to show now when you close an if statement, you'll notice here you've got a red bracket opening and if I do a close bracket, essentially it's closed the second if statement, but I did open a bracket at the very beginning, a black bracket, so I'm going to have to do a second closing bracket to finish the if statement. So what we're saying is if B2 equals 1, then good to appear. If it's 2, averages to appear otherwise poor will appear if it's a rating of 3. Press enter and then copy down and it will return either good, average or poor. So for the next example in sheet 3 now we have four conditions 1, 2, 3 and 4. So let's do this again. In cell C2 remember equals if open bracket start in the same way if B2 equals 1, then let's show very good, comma, start my if statement again. If, open bracket, there's the red bracket, if B2 equals 2, then we want good to show. Do my comma, still not finished. I have to open up if again. Look at the opening bracket, it'll change colour. Now we're like grey. Alright, if B2 equals 3, then average. Do my comma. Now I'm ready for the value of false. If it's not 1, or it's not 2, or it's not 3, then it's going to be 4, and therefore the result will be poor. Now I've got to close my 
is it purple, purple brackets, I've got to close my red brackets and I've got to close my opening brackets. Press enter and there we have it and then we can copy down. So each time you do an if statement there's going to be a corresponding opening bracket and a closing bracket to that. Let's now incorporate a nested if statement with an absolute cell reference. So we've got here a list of staff, we've got monthly sales, they are going to get a commission percent based on their monthly sales and the information is sitting here in this box to the right hand side. So anybody whose sales are greater than or equal to 8,000 will get 5%. If it's 6,000 or more they get 3% and if it's less than 6,000 they're not getting any commission. Now, the reason why I want to bring in an absolute cell reference is that say these figures were to change, maybe the management team decided that they were to get a higher percent or a lower percent, if we fix them into place then these changes can easily be made. But going back to our nested if statement, let's go into cell D3 and what we're saying is equals if open bracket. If what? Well, if the monthly sales in C3, if they are greater than or equal to £8,000, now remember we don't need the pound sign, we don't need the commas, if C3 is greater than or equal to 8000 then I want to apply and I'm going to click straight on to cell I4. Alright, so I'm going to fix that into place by doing function F4 or, or just F4 and then I'm going to move on to the next commission level with a comma. It's looking for what is the value of false but remember we're not finished yet. So if again, open again, this time if the monthly sales in C3 are greater than or equal to 6,000 then I want it to be 3% and I'm going to dollar sign that, fix it into place, comma, now we're ready for the value of false. If they're not getting, if it's not over 8,000 and it's not over 6,000, then they're going to get nothing. But I'm still going to dollar sign that and I'm going to um, close the bracket, remember the first bracket, and then the second bracket. There's two if statements here and press enter. And you'll notice there it has returned 5% and if I copy down it will have returned the correct commission value, sorry, the, the correct commission percentage depending on the monthly sales. Now why I use the dollar sign, so for example let's say they decided to give the staff 10% commission, if I change it in cell I4 and press enter everything changes. So by having it in a separate box and using the absolute cell reference with the nested if statement it is giving you more options and then to work out the amount would just be a simple multiplication the monthly sales times the commission amount press enter and then we could just copy that down now the last example I'm in sheet 5 is trying to essentially do the steps you did here in sheet 4 but combine it all into just one formula might seem a bit daunting, it's really not if you just take it slowly and really think about what you're doing. So we start with equals if and we open bracket if what? If the monthly sales are greater than or equal to 8,000, oops, 8,000, then what are we going to do? Well if that is true then we have to take the monthly sales and we have to multiply by the commission rate. I'll fix that commission rate into place in case I change it later on. So that's the first if. If I do my comma I'm starting again with an if open bracket. If the monthly sales in C3 is greater than or equal to 6,000 with a comma then what am I going to do? Well, I'm going to take the monthly sales this time and multiply it by the 3% and I'm going to fix it into place. 
Otherwise, so just to finish off, otherwise, well, if it's not the, if it's not over eight thousand or it's not over six thousand, then they're going to get nothing. So I'm going to click on the monthly sales times. Although there's nothing there, I'll just leave it just in case that changes, and then we're going to dollar sign that into place. Remember, we've got to close the bracket once, and then we do it again, press enter. And there is the figure has been calculated all in one formula. And then we can copy that down. And that should match everything in the previous sheet, which it does. So that is how you can do nested if statements.